Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel. This box right here is called a pancake box. It's called a pancake box because it's pretty much the size and shape of a pancake. This wire right here is the wire that bonds this metal box to the grounding system of the house. It's called an equipment grounding conductor or EGC for short. And this could be a stud or a ceiling joist. And these are lag screws that secure the box securely to a stud or a ceiling joist. You see, I twisted the box slightly so that you can get a clamp and a cable in through this knockout right here. So the question I have for you today is, is this box legal for the 2020 NEC code to hang a ceiling box from in a habitable room or to hang a sconce on a vertical wall. Is it legal for either one of those uses? And I bought this box yesterday at the Home Depot. It's the only brand they had. It was right there off the shelf. And this is December of 2020. So the code's been out for almost a, an entire year now. It features number eight screws and it's made in Canada, and other than that, there are no further markings inside of this pancake box. One more thing is that there is a photograph of a pancake box in the 2020 NEC handbook. So let's get into it. Here we are at the 2020 NEC code, Article 314.27C. Here we go. Boxes at ceiling suspended paddle fan outlets. Outlet boxes or outlet box systems used as sole support of a ceiling suspended paddle fan shall be listed, shall be marked by their manufacturer as suitable for this purpose and shall not support ceiling suspended paddle fans that weigh more than 70 pounds. So this is my point right here. These boxes shall be marked by their manufacturer as suitable for this purpose. So this particular box that I bought at Home Depot yesterday is not marked by the manufacturer as suitable for this purpose. Here is a different ceiling support box. And you see, it is marked by the manufacturer. It says acceptable for fan support using number 10 screws. And this brings up another problem with the box I originally showed you. It uses number eight screws. The manufacturer is stating right here that it has to have number 10 screws. So my conclusion is that the pancake box that I showed you originally in the video is not acceptable by the 2020 NEC code for hanging ceiling fans from. My viewpoint might be a little bit controversial because 314.27C continues. It says, outlet boxes mounted in the ceilings of habitable rooms of dwelling occupancies in a location acceptable for the installation of ceiling suspended paddle fan shall comply with one of the following. In number two, it says an outlet box complying with the applicable requirements of 314.27 and providing access to structural framing capable of supporting a ceiling suspended paddle fan bracket or equivalent. So, See, we're able to put those lag screws right into the ceiling joist. So some people would feel that this makes that particular pancake box acceptable. However, look right here. It says, complying with applicable requirements of 314.27. Now go right up here to 314.27C, and it says, they shall be listed, shall be marked by their manufacturer as suitable for this purpose. So in my interpretation, that particular pancake box is not acceptable to hang a ceiling fan from, even though I just bought it off the shelf at Home Depot yesterday. In my opinion, they really shouldn't be selling that particular pancake box because it's just gonna, if you use it, it's just gonna get you in trouble with your inspector. It's gonna cost you a lot of money and time to redo it with a proper ceiling fan box, you know, because you trusted Home Depot, I guess. Okay, so now let's look 
at vertical applications. Here we are at article 314.27 outlet boxes and we're going to jump down to number one vertical surface outlets. Boxes used at luminaire or lamp holder outlets in or on a vertical surface shall be identified and marked on the interior of the box to indicate the maximum weight of the luminaire that is permitted to be supported by the box if other than 50 pounds. So once again, it says shall be identified and marked on the interior of the box and that pancake box that we have is not marked. If a box is marked for 30 pounds, that's, that's it. That's the maximum it can support. However, it does have an exception. A vertically mounted luminaire or lamp holder weighing not more than three kilograms, that's six pounds, shall be permitted to be supported on other boxes or plaster rings that are secured to other boxes, provided that the luminaire or its supporting yoke or the lamp holder is secured to the box with no fewer than two number six or larger screws. So our pancake box has two number eight screws, which are larger than number six screws. And I think that it qualifies as other boxes. So I believe if you wanted to hang a light that didn't exceed six pounds on a vertical surface, you could with our pancake box. Here's an example of a pancake box that is acceptable for fan support of 70 pounds or less. And it is acceptable for fixture support of 150 pounds or less. And it's stamped with that information right here. So the moral of the story is know your 2020 NEC code. And if you go to Home Depot to buy something like this, know what to look for. So you don't wind up with something that is compliant with say 2017 NEC code. And this way you'll pass your inspections, you'll save money, you'll save time. And watch out for old stock that's still on the shelves at the big box stores. On the next episode of Sparky Channel, I'll go over how much wire you can put in a pancake box. And a tip is, it's not much. And another tip would be, this is too much. I'll put a link in my video description for the Hubble Reiko pancake box, which is acceptable for ceiling fans. And I'll put a link in my video description for the Hubble Reiko ceiling fan electrical box, which is acceptable for the fans, but it's an exterior box. I'll also put links for various kinds of 2020 NEC approved ceiling fan boxes. And I'll put links for both the 2020 NEC spiral bound code book and for the 2020 NEC handbook. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.